So Ava's storyline has gotten darker and darker, and we're seeing her the more ruthlessness come out every episode. Yes. Has that surprised you a little bit? <laughs> no, and I, I don't know if I agree. She's gotten darker and darker. I think she's just adapting to the world she's chosen to be a part of. You know, she's a huge part of her existence on the show is a love story, and whatever that kind of takes is where she's going to go to keep that. It's, it's the one time you've seen a woman who's suffered from so much abuse have something so pure and he respects her and so that's great. Uh, the world though that he's taken her into, yes, is dark and, and um, I think she's a strong Kentucky woman and used to like suffering and used to the hard times and so she just stands up to, to that kind of world. Well she is kind of like you said, the heart. She's got the romance going on. She's had, you know, a little bit different relationships but she's stuck with Boyd through thick and thin which has been amazing. Yeah. So what do you think about him is really the one thing that she just really is drawn to. Um, I think that's the, the main thing that she exists for now in the world. And so it's, um, I like it. It's like a strong thing to pull her through because if, if she's constantly aiming for that, everything else is a struggle and a conflict and a, or a surprise. And so it, it's great for, as far as an actress, she has a lot of stuff to deal with. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's real comfortable with all the weaponry that seems oh, yeah. in their world. Has that been a challenge for you as an actress to go, okay, how am I supposed to handle to make it look real? A little bit, but there's we have such good crew, and I, I really look to all our, it's very heavily male populated uh, set, so I, I'm really like, I don't want to shoot like a girl, I want to shoot like I want to shoot like a man, so, you know, like, well, every time teach we turn around, she's like grabbing for a gun. And they it's, throw me guns now. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> she's definitely very physical. Yeah. Has that been kind of interesting for you? I've always been a physical person myself, so always in sports, and so the, the physicality of it, I kind of embrace. I like it. You like that? Yeah. For this season, what exactly is like her emotional journey? Is she there just to support Boyd? Has she got her own storyline going on? She definitely has her own storyline going on. I mean, she starts the season very strong, in love, and a businesswoman, running the whorehouse, and um, kind of embracing this world, and then she has to make a big decision midway through the season that sends her off her moral compass, and, 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 and as the show has been labeled this season as the road to hell is paid with bad intentions, she must thus <laughs> face those. Well, one of the things we saw initially in these first couple episodes was she seemed a little taken aback by how much Boyd had embraced the religion stuff. There's the confrontation between Boyd and the preacher, and she's kind of like, hey, what's going on a little bit? It does that surprise her because she didn't go through that journey with him, or is she just kind of rolling with it? Um, it um, I, I don't know if Ava had a problem with the religion, I'm not, and I'm not quite sure we tapped into that with her. It was, it was an interesting aspect. I actually asked the writers, and because we haven't faced that yet, I don't really know what her religious um, beliefs are yet. Okay. And just for you, what do you love about Ava? <laughs> about Ava? Yeah. Oh, that, um, that um, it's do or die, that she just won't stop, like, and that, um, uh, she's just got the biggest heart. Like she really does focus and, and go for everything she believes in, even if it ends up not being quite everybody's view of the perfect thing to do in life. <laughs> she is fearless that way. She's fearless. Love that. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs>